Hello everyone, this is Gary and today we're looking at seven places to visit in Gwynedd, Wales. Now I know what you're going to say, there are lots of things you can see and do in Gwynedd, Wales and please forgive my pronunciation and yes you would be absolutely right. But if you're on a holiday or a short break or maybe you're just visiting the area, you don't want to spend all your time driving around in a car and never get to actually see anything. So I have identified here a number of places, seven in fact, which are within easy reach of each other and make visiting that part of Wales that much easier with lots of fun things to see and do. Now there's quite a few to get through, in fact seven, so we haven't got much more time. Let's just get straight into it. Okay, so the first place on our journey that I would identify that is well worth a visit is Harlech Castle. Now, Harlech Castle has a great location. It sits on top of what has been described as a sheer craggy uh, rock or a sheer rocky crag overlooking the sand dunes which are set out far, far below. As if that location was not dramatic enough and no further drama is really required, but just in case the rugged peaks of Snowdonia arise in the background uh, and they serve as a backdrop. Now, for me, measured against Conwy, Carnarvon and Beaumaris, um, Harlech is probably the most spectacular setting of any of Edward I's castles in North Wales, known as the Iron Ring of Castles all four of which are designated as a World Heritage Site. It was built by Edward I during his invasion of Wales somewhere between 1282 and 1289. Now, if you want more information about Harlech Castle, well actually there's a separate video that I've done all about Harlech Castle um, and it's in the description box uh, below. And of course you can get lots of good information from the relevant websites which I've identified uh, in that video as well. But Harlech Castle, definitely worth a visit. Okay, so the next place to visit on our journey through uh, Gwynedd, North West Wales would be Barmouth. Now, Barmouth is a coastal a town sitting on an estuary, hence its name, uh, Barmouth. It was originally based around uh, shipbuilding uh, industries, but more recently it is known as a seaside resort. Uh, William Wordsworth, reputedly uh, a visitor to Barmouth in the 19th century, identified its key features as follows. He says it's got a fine sea view in front, which is true. It's quite a large, extensive sea view and beach. It's got mountains behind, that's the Snowdonian National Park we talked about, and it's got the glorious estuary running inland. Now, what more can one say? Barmouth, definitely take a visit and enjoy it. And let's now move on to our next location. Now, the next location I would identify on our journey that is well worth visiting in and around Gwynedd, North West Wales, is Port Merion, of course. Now, the thing about Port Merion is you can get caught up in the whole business of the TV series The Prisoner, and in fact, I've done a separate video all about Port Merion and its relationship with that TV series. But the truth is, if you're going to see Port Merion as a coastal village, um, then you need to focus on the buildings and in truth it starts and ends therefore with the architect Sir Clough Williams Ellis who bought the land, bought the area in about 1925 with the intention of designing and building a coastal village and that is exactly what he achieved. The architectural style is that of a Mediterranean Italian village and it was designed and constructed between 1925 and 1975. A number of the buildings are listed 
um, uh, and I would say one of the most interesting features is the way in which some of the buildings are reconstructed from other buildings which have been salvaged or saved, including indeed a boat which was salvaged and saved and runs along the quayside. Um, so there are bits of other buildings, a piece of a boat, uh, other defunct buildings and structures, all brought together in an absolutely splendid and beautiful layout um, and well worth the visit, even if you don't know anything about the TV series um, The Prisoner. But if you are interested in finding out a bit more, do look at the other video I've done, which is in the description box below. Nevertheless, Port Mirian, well worth a visit in its own right for the beauty of that coastal village. Okay, so let's go on to our next location. Okay, so the next place I would suggest you visit if you are in the area is Pufweli. Now, please excuse my pronunciation on that. I'm sure you're going to say, why Pufweli? Why on earth did you pick that out of all places you could visit in that area? I would say, why not? It's a beautiful market town in Gwynedd North Western Wales. And it's got its own culture, its own character, uh, and it's got its own attractions. A large proportion there, apparently over 80% are Welsh speaking, and it's the place where Plaid Cymru was apparently founded. It's got a range of shops and services, and some very beautiful scenery around it. So I would say probably well worth a visit, and it's on my list of places to see if you're in that area. Okay, so on to the next one. Okay, so the next place I would identify that is worth visiting if you're in this area is Crickheath Castle. Now, Crickheath Castle is really a Welsh castle. It's a genuinely Welsh castle. And I say that to distinguish it from a number of Edward I uh, ring of castles. Um, it is a Welsh castle having a full Welsh background. It sits between two beaches in Crickheath Gwynedd in North Wales. It was built originally by Llewellyn the Great of the Kingdom of Gwynedd, but was heavily modified following its capture by English forces of Edward I in the late 13th century. So there is the link to Edward I and his presence in that area. Now, if you're interested in pursuing more background about Crickheath Castle, please see the link in the description box below because there's a separate video about that uh, at the same time as I'm doing the video about Harlech Castle, I also cover uh, Crickheath uh, Castle to contrast it with uh, Harlech. And of course, you can go to the CADU website, C-A-D-W, to get a lot more background information about the castle itself. Um, it is also set in a coastal village, a uh, town which has a, a beauty all of its own and a lovely uh, beaches. And indeed, for that reason, it is well worth a visit in its own right. That's Cookie Castle. So let's move on to our next location. Okay, so the next place I would identify to visit if you're in this area is Port Maddock. And please excuse my pronunciation again of that. Uh, Port Maddock is another coastal town in Gwynedd, uh, North West Wales, and it's not far from Crickheath Castle, which was the castle we were just talking about. Now, it developed in the 19th century primarily as a port uh, for slate, but currently it continues as a shopping centre and tourist destination because it's quite near the Snowdonia National Park. So it's a great place to visit. It's got a beautiful backdrop of uh, mountains from uh, the Snowdonia National Park. And it's also the location of the Festiniog uh, Railway, which I'll come on to later. So there you go, Port Maddock, well worth a visit and highly recommended if you're on a tour of that area. Okay, so let's get to the next location.
Okay, so the next place I would recommend to visit in that area, it's not a place at all, it is in fact a ride, and it's a ride with the Festiniog Railway. Uh, now, I've actually covered that in a bit more detail in another video, and that's shown in the description box, but I mention it here because it's relevant to Port Maddock, which we've just talked about. The Festiniog Railway Station is where you get on the railway, and it's located in Port Maddock. It's a narrow gauge railway in Gwynedd, um, North Wales or North West Wales, and it's a tourist attraction in the Snowdonia National Park. Uh, the train takes you into beautiful mountainous scenery on a single track with passing places. And indeed the railway is one of the oldest, if not the oldest, in the world. And it includes the Welsh Highland Railway. And so uh, you can find yourself on trips, if you wish, to a whole range of places in that area from Port Maddock to uh, Lionel Festiniog. So that would definitely be my recommendations to something to do as well as a place to visit if you're in Gwynedd North West Wales. Okay so I hope you've enjoyed the tour and let's just see what's next. Okay, so what is next is to say that I hope you've enjoyed that very quick tour of seven places to visit in Gwynedd North West Wales. And that it's given you some ideas as to what to do if you're in the area. And as I said before, it's designed to ensure that you don't spend all your time driving in the car from one attraction to another. They're all relatively close to each other. Now, if you like this video, please mark it as a like. And if you wish to see more videos like this, then please subscribe. Apart from that, all that is left for me to say is thanks for taking the time to watch this video and bye for now.